Hey everybody, it's Seriously Sydney, and we are working on Fountain Pen Portrait Number 2. This one was kind of inspired by, like, if you've ever watched fashion, like, shows the runway models. The, like, the way they walk down the, um, runway, there we go, I just forgot the word for a minute. The way they walk down the runway and their expression, all this, what this, uh, this look was heavily inspired by. And I thought it was a very, like, it had a very bold feel to it. So again, I start with the nose, trying to use that to position everything. And I did have, again, a little bit of difficulty with the eyes and some of the angles. I think this one turned out a little bit better, though. And I'm also using the same ink in orange, same fountain pen, and I end up using a sepia colored brush pen later, but I will have the name linked in the, or not linked, I'll put the name in the video description if you guys want to take a look at that. I tried to use these shapes like on the cheeks and the chin to um, denote highlights where the light would be hitting the skin. I don't know if that came across, but it kind of looks interesting. I'm enjoying drawing like this because you have to be very decisive when you make your marks. You can't go back, there's no erasing. It's very... It's very cool. It's challenging, but I like the results. There are a lot of parts about this drawing that I really like. One of them is the earrings. I like the way those end up turning out. The shape of looking at it would be the left ear, but on the individual it would be the right because it's, you know, mirrored and all. But to avoid complication, my two would be to my left. So my the left ear that I'm drawing. I think me trying to clarify that made it sound a little bit more complicated, but oh well. <laughs> the earrings turned out nice. I really like the way they turned out. I'm also very, I guess, proud and very happy with the way the hair turned out. I was able to get the texture of it to look the way I wanted it to.
If I were to change one thing though, I would have started the drawing slightly lower on the paper. That way I could have had a little bit more space towards the top of the head for the hair. It still turned out proportionate, but I think it would have looked nice if it gave him more space. The ear was also a lot of fun to draw. I don't know if that's what they're, they would be called, they kind of remind me of a necklace or something along those lines. But anyway, since you guys have watched this far, um, if, mind, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and the special word to comment down in the comment section will be runway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week.